All right, what's up everybody? Got the hoodie on today. Uh, it's pretty cold, but uh, it's dyno day with a twist. The car we're gonna be dynoing today is a stone stock uh, higher mileage 2015 Mustang GT with the performance pack. We don't get this opportunity very much of dynoing uh, a 10 year old car, at least at the time of this video, that doesn't have any modifications to it. And this particular car has a check engine light and the two codes that we pull are a P0300 and a P0308. The P0300 code is a kind of a global or just generic misfire code. And then the P0308 code is indicating a misfire on cylinder number eight. The only symptom that we could pinpoint with the car was a hesitation from 1800 to 2000 RPM. Once you got the car moving, once you got some RPM in it, it ran completely fine. And kind of for us, the seat of the pants were like, man, this car runs great. Let's dyno it and see if these particular misfire codes are costing us any power. And that's what we did. This particular car, dyno's technical specifications are gonna be a uh, MT82 transmission. So the pools are made in fifth gear, which is the one-to-one -one ratio, two-piece drive shaft. The performance pack cars had a 373 rear gear. And then that is a 275 40 19 tire. And we have 93 octane fuel in the tank. All right, so let's take a look at our baseline numbers. The car's strong. It's probably making what it should be making. I would call this average. 374.8 horsepower at 6,400 RPM, and then 362 pound-feet of torque at 4,200 RPM. Uh, and the reason why I would say it's probably making the power it should make, because if you use the 15% driveline theory or calculation, it's actually making a little bit more power than the 15% drivetrain loss. So. Now that we know that uh, the car is making some substantial power, it was time to turn our attention to the troubleshooting. And what we did first was change the spark plugs. That did not fix our issue. So the next step was to take the number eight coil pack and move it to a different cylinder and see if the misfire code moved to that particular cylinder. Well, it did not. After that, compression test. Well, compression test came back great. So that wasn't the problem. The next step was to turn our attention to the intake manifold. And on these Gen 2 cars, this was the first Coyote engine that utilized the IMRCs, which is the intake manifold runner control valves. And uh, as time has gone on, uh, you know, these cars are getting old, problems are starting to surface uh, with the IMRCs. So we got the intake manifold off and uh, upon some investigation, noticed that the shaft on the driver's side was broken. So that actuator could not move that valve correctly. Well, there are codes that are specific uh, to the IMRC stuff. Well, we didn't have that code. We had a misfire code. Kind of one of those anomalies where you just may not know the right answer uh, at all. But uh, for us, uh, we could have just easily swapped a good Gen 2 intake back on the car and kept rolling, but we wanted to use the opportunity for upgrade. And you can do this as well. For us, we're turning to our stash of parts and using a stage three Ford Performance Power Pack that includes a GT350 intake manifold, GT350 87 millimeter throttle body, GT350 cold air intake, and then a Ford Performance calibration. Once we got all that stuff installed, we fired it up, uh, and the codes for the misfire were gone, but we had a crank relearn code. And that's actually pretty common on the Coyote platform cars, uh, is to do a crank relearn after a PCM flash. So what we did first, we returned the stock, then reflashed the calibration, that didn't solve the problem. Uh, so for us, we just turned to the resources we have here at the shop, uh, did a crank relearn, and then we were good to go. So after that, the car went back on the dyno. All right, so with the new stuff this car is making, 403.6 horsepower at 7,100 RPM and 359.6 pound-feet of torque at 4,900 RPM. Now, I'll be the first to tell you we were kind of hoping for a little bit higher number. Reason being, our 2015 Mustang GT that we've had since the car was brand new has this same power pack plus a catback exhaust and it makes, uh, I would say, substantially more power. However, Every car is different, every situation is different. You know, just because one car is making this power doesn't mean yours is gonna make the exact same. So we'll just kind of throw that out the window. 
and focus on what we have here with this particular car. The nature of the GT350 intake, throttle body, and cold air intake, mainly the intake manifold, is the power that a, the car is going to make after 5,000 RPM. That's where this really starts to open up. Yes, peak gains were about 28 and some change horsepower, uh, and we did lose two and a half pound-feet of torque. That's just the nature of a GT350 intake in terms of peak torque. So the GT350 stuff is making nearly 400 horsepower at 6,700 RPM, and then the stock Gen 2 intake is making 355 horsepower. That's a 45 horsepower increase at 6,700 RPM in the curve, and the GT350 stuff still isn't finished. You know, it carries all the way, really, till we hit the speed limit or 150 mile an hour. Uh, dropping down to torque, we'll call it 311 pound-feet uh, to 277 pound-feet of torque. So that's another, you know, nearly 34 pound-feet of torque uh, in the curve. All right, so kind of wrapping this one up, uh, you probably found this video uh, because you're searching for a misfire code in general. Hopefully we have provided you some value of kind of what to look for. It's always good to troubleshoot, and this is just some things to look for um, if you're facing a similar issue. So hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, we enjoyed kind of putting this one together. Again, we don't get this opportunity much. Uh, it's crazy to think that a 2015 Mustang is 10 years old at the time of this video. It's in my head, that's like a three-year-old car. And I'm sure a lot of you probably think the same. So if y'all find value in what we do, uh, please consider liking the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. And then uh, till we see you in the next one for all things S550, keep it right here with the Real Enthusiasts, LMR.com.